it's Chinese New Year, the year's biggest celebration. Just one month left before the first race. Even the pigeons get a little rest, as they have been training for four months straight. For Tai, he finally gets to spend some quality time with his family. After prayers for good luck in the coming year, the family enjoys a festive New Year's Eve dinner. With the race approaching, training becomes more intensive. Number 13 is now fully recovered, and his wings are stronger than ever. The team is setting new records each day. They are now able to fly more than five hours at a time, spanning at least 250 kilometers. Each trainer has his own method to lure their pigeons home faster. Some use food, while others even let the pigeons have babies, so they must return to feed. Tai, on the other hand, uses the power of sex. After weeks of separation, Tai's pigeons finally have a chance at love. After five months of intense training, these six-month-old pigeons are ready for battle. All the pigeons gather at the Mingxiong Pigeon Club, ready for the first of the big races. In this spring season, Mingxiong Club has 132 pigeon lofts with 3,045 pigeons competing for the prize. Friday, 6 p.m., the Pigeon Club has an official countdown ceremony to ensure that all the timing clocks are synchronized. Everybody must wear thick gloves to prevent anyone from attempting to swap rings or alter numbers. It's the first of many measures to reduce the possibility of cheating. The staff members check each pigeon to ensure a positive ID. A new ring with a random number seals up the original leg ring so that all birds are effectively anonymous. They are then locked into cargo cages in an order decided randomly by playing cards. The race is about to begin. All Ty can do is go home and wait. The loft's clocks are locked up to prevent tampering. Pigeons will stay here for two nights before the race begins on Sunday morning. Due to the intensity of these races, doping birds with steroids is commonly practiced. To ensure against illegal drug use, caretakers stay by the pigeons and monitor their feeding. Anxious, Tai tries to relax with friends, but all they think about are pigeons. <laughs> 9 p.m. Saturday. All the pigeons from the 60 clubs in southern Taiwan gather at Kaohsiung, the island's biggest port. More than 30,000 competing birds will be carried out to sea under the darkness of night. There is a reason for all this hassle. In the early days of pigeon racing, races took place over land, which tempted locals to develop an A-loft, B-loft scam. Pigeons were trained to fly to an identical loft near the starting point, where they were driven to the finish line, sometimes even boarding commercial jets for an unfair advantage. To curb future cheating, it is now standard for contests to begin at sea. The weather is terrible. A strong northeastern wind creates huge waves. With clouds thickening, the visibility is less than 10 kilometers. The race must go on. Can number 13 and other race pigeons brave the weather and find their way back in time? Thirty thousand highly trained pigeons are about to compete in the first race of the season. 
they will be asked to race for 295 kilometers in the most appalling of weather across angry oceans. The moment of release finally comes. At dawn, staff inspect the seals on the cages. Images are transmitted back to the island by satellite as evidence of fair play. Staff from different clubs monitor the critical moment of release. The commander begins the countdown. form groups, circling and searching for the right direction home. After a few minutes, any remaining pigeons are chased out of their cages. The winds are strong and could spell disaster for these pigeons. A headwind may throw the pigeons toward mainland China, but a tailwind could cause the pigeons to fly past Taiwan. It's nine o'clock, Sunday morning. Pigeon owners anxiously gather at the club. The chairman announces that some pigeons have already lost their direction and flown toward mainland China. Scanning clocks are retrieved one by one. They are crucial to the game, as each will record the exact time it took a pigeon to fly. Tai returns with his clock and prepares the loft for his bird's return. For the first round, the launch ship travels 295 kilometers from the coast. To advance to the next round, each bird must average 39 kilometers per hour, calculating from the release at 7.10 a.m. Tai notes that his pigeons must return home by precisely 2.19 and 17 seconds p.m. or be disqualified. Today is just the first run, but my pigeons haven't arrived home yet. Everyone is waiting for news. The pigeons finally spot home is not too far. Tai hears that the first group of pigeons has been spotted off the coast, 80 kilometers away from Daming. Could number 13 be leading the way? Pigeon owners are impatient for news of their investment. On the overland flying route, other pigeon trainers look out for the birds and call each other to report the latest positions. Everybody's phone keeps ringing. Where are the pigeons? After four hours flight, the first group of pigeons rush toward them at a speed of 48 kilometers per hour. The bird is coming. It's ours. It's number 27. Tai pushes it into the gate. He asks his assistant to ensure that the scanning clock has recorded the time. Tai has to rapidly catch the bird and remove its label. Tai's assistant must rush the pigeon to the nearby confirmation booth within 13 minutes or their pigeon will be disqualified. The rule is to reduce the chance of bird substitution. The event brings much excitement to a Sunday afternoon. 
To the people in Daling, a small agricultural town, it's like a festival. Time is running out. A second pigeon returns. It's number thirteen, Tai's favorite. His assistant follows the same procedure. Every lot has several pigeon runners to deliver the birds to the confirmation point by the fastest vehicle they can find. Forty minutes left before disqualification. A third pigeon is spotted. Number thirty-four. Why now? Uh, it should be earlier. We have gone here. I will talk to you later. It's not the right. The wind is bright. Not one of ours. There is not too much time left before disqualification. Tai is worried about his two pigeons, number 15 and number 25. His assistant informs him that the time is up. Tai is disappointed. Only five out of 15 pigeons came back in time. Tai's five pigeons are qualified to advance to the next round. They are taken to the pigeon club to be examined, along with the scanning clocks. The scanning clocks print out a record of the pigeon's time. Tai scans the race report for the first round. Only 400 out of 1,200 pigeons from the Mingshong Club return in time. Tai's birds made it to the top 50. If the only pigeons to return are ours, then of course we will be very happy. But it's no fun if the neighbors beat us. Everybody feels the same way.